Welcome everyone! I am your friend sister in learning and doing fun activities in science. Today, we will be identifying some elements and compounds at home. A while ago, I collected some materials. This is my mom's jewelry. These are made up of 75% of gold and 25% of copper and silver. I came across with these materials that my father stored. These are electrical wires. Electrical wires that are conductors of electricity and they are made up of the element copper. I also have the cotton boots found at home in the kitchen. Hands are made up of the element tin. I was surprised that there are a lot of elements in which are really present at home. Ah, this pot where my mom cooks my favorite. It is made of the element iron. Iron is used in buildings, houses, machineries, appliances, and kitchen cutlery too. Hmm. What else? Ah! When we breathe, we let the element oxygen enter our body. Our body needs oxygen so that it will work properly. As we exhale, our body excretes carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a compound made of the element carbon and oxygen. Carbon dioxide is a compound made of the element carbon and oxygen. Carbon dioxide is useful to plants in their food production called photosynthesis. <clears throat> I suddenly got thirsty. Let me drink some water first. Hmm. Did you know that water is a compound? Water is a combination of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. There is also sugar, salt, and baking soda in our pantry. Sugar is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen and used as a sweetener. Salt is made up of sodium and chlorine. Baking soda is made of the element sodium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen, and it is used for baking. These are only some of the tons of elements and compounds we use in our daily life. We should be more familiar with them and their uses and effects on the environment. I am your Narmi, your friend sister in story fun and science.